Today we did a lesson 11, comparing ratios using tables. This can be kind of tricky, but you have to manipulate the tables to get them to work for you. So let's read this practice problem. Jane and Bob are running. Use the ratio table below to find the faster, the faster runner. So right now if I look at the table, it's comparing times to distances. The first thing I would like you to do is see if any of the numbers from the top table match the bottom, and none of them do. So that means we can't compare them the way they are right now. So then I'd like you to look at the first ratio in every table. And I'm going to suggest to you, see if you can make it simpler. For the first one, um, I can divide both of these by 2. So that gets me down to 8 and 1. So for every 8 minutes, Jane can run 1 mile. Let's look if we're lucky enough to do the same thing on the bottom. I know that 27 and 3 are both divisible by 3. So that, get, that gets me down to 9 and 1. 9 minutes per 1 mile. Now this is tricky. You have to go back and kind of think to yourself, who is the fastest runner? Well, look at what you're comparing. Time to miles, time to miles. In this case, Jean is the fastest runner because she has the lower time. It only takes her eight minutes to run one mile. It takes Bob nine minutes, so he's a little slower in his running. You really have to slow down and double check when they ask who's faster, that you're picking the right thing. A lot of times I have people pick this because it's the higher number. In this case, the higher number actually means he's slower, okay? So that is how I'd like you to approach um, the problems like this. Now, sometimes um, the first two here, it's not easily simplified. So you're really going to have to try to see if you can, you know, manipulate them also to make the ratio table larger so they can have a common number. Good luck.